So we're here to change Africa and impact the world. The world is being transformed by exponential technologies. Communication is going to be ubiquitous. The future will be disease-free and longevity will be malleable. I have a passion for exponential thinking. I have a passion for helping people get out of the box. I have a passion for optimism. I want to infect people with a sense of possibility, with a sense that we can make this a better world. I can see in the future, 10, 20, 30 years from now, where all of our global grand challenges are solved, largely driven by exponential technology and innovators around the world. So teaching coding from preschool should be like teaching language. Teaching robotics should be a basic subject that is taught from preschool. What's exciting to me is the next generation. So if this is the future, and it's a future we shouldn't run away from, because running away from it means accepting bipolar disorder as a norm of human existence. It means accepting diabetes. It means accepting millions of people bent over in fields every day, picking lettuce. Uh, I don't believe in that world. I believe in an augmented world. For me, AI stands for augmented intelligence. We have robots that help us, right? They manufacture goods for us. We have robots that help clean our houses, like the Roomba and the Neato. The robots of reality are starting to get to the point where they have similar capabilities to the robots of our imagination. So between our 2000 and 2017, the number of mobile connections on the continent has grown from literally zero to about one billion. And this is very exciting because the smartphone gives us a huge amount of power that allows us to deliver resources and provide access to people in a way that we never could have done before. Five years ago, if I had got up here and I'd started talking to you about blockchain technology, about Bitcoin, about cryptocurrencies, I think there would have been a lot of blank stares. But that's the technology that I think could upend our government institutions and our companies in the same way as the internet did in the 1990s. I can have a relationship with 10 million customers and 600,000 businesses, and that's off the back of mobility, artificial intelligence. It is an opportunity where we can say to 10 million people, I know you, I see you. You are an individual, you are not a number. I truly see you and therefore, I can show up in a way that is truly personal. And we really need to learn to move from thinking only about cyber war to think about how we deal with a sustainable future for cyber peace. We should make the security problems we have with our new technologies obsolete by building it in instead of bolting it on. I believe if we can survive the hostile conditions on the surface of Mars, then there's no longer an excuse for the poverty in which so many of our people live here on this planet Earth. For us humans, explorers, the allure of the unknown is always far more powerful than the comfort of the known.